Guiding Quantitative Reasoning for National Medical Admissions Test, Part 2. Today, let's talk about the laws of exponents. There are seven laws of exponents you need to remember. What are these? These are the multiplication rule, division rule, power of power rule, power of product rule, power of fraction rule, zero exponent rule, and the negative exponent rule. Let's discuss each item. The multiplication rule follows this structure, wherein a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. As you can see, these three terms have the same base. So all you have to do is just to add all of the exponents if this is the multiplication rule. Same goes to the division rule that follow this structure, wherein a raised to m divided by a raised to n is just equal to a raised to m minus n. Next is the power of power rule, wherein a raised to m quantity raised to n is equal to a raised to m n. This is just the product of both of the exponents. Next is the power of product rule, wherein a b quantity raised to m is just equal to a raised to m multiplied by b raised to m. This, as you can see, we just have to distribute the exponent for both of the terms inside the parentheses. Next is the power of fraction rule, which follows this structure. As you can see, it's just the same as the power of product rule, wherein a over b raised to m is just equal to a raised to m all over b raised to m. Next is the zero exponent rule, which follows this structure. This entails that any term that is raised to zero will always be equal to one. And lastly, the negative exponent rule, which follow this structure. This means that any term that is raised to negative 1 is just the reciprocal of the term plus the exponent. Now that we have discussed the loss of exponents, answer this. Comment down below.